The Environment, Tourism and Interior Departments recommended to close Boracay for six months. To address issues such as illegal structures and faulty drainage systems that is affecting Boracay's priced beach. The last time in Andito is 2017. It's actually crowded. Sobrang dami ng tao. Everywhere, may kita mo talaga bars and drinks and masama kala talaga. We had more cases of skin disease. We had more cases of diarrhea. So, nagkasama-sama lahat ng mga agencies, tinignan ano ba ang plano natin sa Boracay, Compliance on Clean Air Act, Clean Water Act, at saka yung ating environmental compliance. When they started demolishing, we saw that there was action, that they put their money where their mouth is. Lahat ng nagamit na tubig ng customer, we collect it through our sewer lines, and then it goes through a treatment process sa treatment plant. It was nice that it happened. Finally, Boraga got the attention it is in deep need of. I think a lot of work was done during the closure. The water is clear, the oceans are clean, and there seems to be a lot of wildlife returning. And we had, for the first time in 10 years, we had, we had turtle hatching on, on the beach a couple of days ago. During the closure, you could see like the eagles came back and everything that we have had for a long time. Commercial pa nga yung mga kondito eh. Udan ding, galing una Cebu. In the end, it's a good thing, yes. It was hard for us, but it was also a wake-up call. The beach was cleaned up and is officially set to reopen on October 26th. Wala lang na kumakain sa beach, bawal nang manigarilyo. Gumanda yung isla namin as in bumalik sa dati na ambiance. We teach kids about pollution, solid waste management, because they're the ones who will sustain all the things that we're doing now.